President Biden stopping by a D.C. hardware store, highlighting the impact of aid to small businesses. Some of them outmaneuvered by larger competitors during earlier rounds of COVID relief. We found out that an awful lot of that went to big, bigger businesses that, mm -hmm. in fact, weren't supposed to qualify. The House is poised to pass that $1.9 trillion bill today. In addition to those direct payments and extended unemployment benefits, the bill would lower the cost of Obamacare premiums for most Americans by increasing subsidies. By one estimate, a family of four making $60,000 a year would go from paying $379 a month to $158 for health insurance. It's a big win for cash-strapped state and local governments, too, getting a $350 billion boost. Welcome news for Brian Barnett, a Republican mayor in Michigan. I'm anxious to see the funds deployed in my community to help those small businesses and those families that need it. But Republicans say the Democratic bill is not focused enough on COVID relief, with some funds going to infrastructure and rail projects, museums and arts organizations, as well as environmental issues. It's not focused on COVID relief. It's focused on pushing more of the far left agenda. Another $28 billion directed to revitalize restaurants crushed by the pandemic. $5 billion more to forgive debts for black, Hispanic and indigenous farmers. Republicans pointing to projections that the economy and state budgets are improving argue the massive bill is too costly after a series of COVID relief bills under President Trump that had support from both parties. It didn't have to be this way. Uh, we could have had a bill that was, um, you know, a fraction of the cost of this one that could have gotten bipartisan approval and support. And this morning, tens of millions of Americans, of course, are asking when they will get those $1,400 direct payments. President Biden has said that some folks will get them before the end of this month. The White House says it could happen even sooner with the Treasury Department now working to expedite the payments. It is quickest for those who already have their bank accounts on file with the IRS and receive their last two relief payments by direct deposit. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.